Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, John Megacycle here, an episode of Minecraft Vanilla, not Feed the Beast, and not Motleycraft. <laughs> this is just El Solo. Han Solo? Or whatever. I just wanted to have a little fun playing Minecraft just by myself. Um, it's been a while who, since I came to Vanilla. For this one, I just wanted to go right to diamonds. Uh, diamonds or bust. Oops. There we go. Um, once in a while I like to come in here, play in hardcore mode, see how quickly I can accomplish a task. Um, first to a gold block, first to diamond, how long it takes me to get to the nether, just to really experience terrain generation and how the game plays itself. So this is kind of like a race, I guess. I'm not going to set up a clock or time it or anything, but what I really like to do is I like to just see how Minecraft is progressing in vanilla, since right now we're at 179, and I really like just to see how things progress. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, achievements, and I'm not here. Fantastic. Oh, I find that, oh, these are, what are these things? Flowers, clearly. Oxide daisy, oh, that's cute. Um, a lot of things get progressively better and better and better with all the snapshots and all the things that Mojang has been working very diligently to keep up. New changes, new units, new bug fixes. What the heck are these things? Lilacs. Oh, very cool. Huh. Piggies. I know you guys. So anyway, like I said, this, this is kind of like a just a real relaxing thing for me to do. It's almost... Get out of here. I'm not done murdering one of you. Um, this is almost like playing a game without any real objective. Um, how, how else could I explain this? It's almost like playing like a strategy game in sandbox mode with no enemy. Just like wanting to build a base. Like just, just enjoying the game for what the game is for. I mean, not really like, oh, I, I want a cobblestone generator and I want all these things and I'm gonna, you know, infinite ender pearls and stuff. And uh, That's not really my goal for this. I just like to kick it around. And what we'll do is we'll probably just delete the world when I'm done with it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot... ...much to be accomplished once I'm just having a good time. Um, yeah, let's do an axe. I usually like to wait for a cobblestone axe, but that's okay. So before we really get digging, we need two things. Food. Which will get off these piggy... Oop, plague. Which will get off these piggies quite nicely. Where's the fourth one? <gasps> Perger! And then lumber. Really, once you have those two things, no matter where you are underground, you'll be able to survive. Um, I usually like to bring grass if ever I want to do like a quick farm, if I encounter a skeleton or something. Uh, that's kind of fun too. Um, what I'll do off and on with some of the players, uh, Hockey Girl especially, what we'll do is we'll do um, a game mode I called Gold Rush. And we start a new world, and it's first to a block of gold. That's it. Uh, nine nine ingots will turn into a block and that's it. Um, so very straightforward and then we throw it away and we do it all over again. You know, we have fun seeing how the worlds regenerate. We've seen worlds with no trees. We've seen like almost whole desert worlds. I mean, it's it gets interesting when you come across some of the different terrain generations. So I'm going to get probably like half a stack of lumber. You don't really need that much at all. Um, but it all depends on what your objectives are. Um, really, like I said, we're going to get to diamond and that's probably it. Uh, just like to take it easy, but really, if you're if you're gonna start a new world, maybe like a stack and a half of lumber is really all you need to get down to the bottom layer and survive. Considering you need wood as a basis for all tools, that's what the handle's made out of. So we already have some trees. So yeah, all we really need is to encounter some baddies, and it should be no problem. Now we are on hardcore mode, so you know. Um, if you've seen other series that I've done, I've done a single-player hardcore, which I died in on day like six, and then I did uh, another hardcore with Rotorhead. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and we were able to... that was a successful run. So let's see here. Gravel. I like how I like how sand and gravel seems a little more prevalent on these kind of beachy, sandy area. Ow. Uh, sandy areas. Those are kind of cool. That's been a nice increase. Let's see here. What, what else do we have over here? Well, hardcore mode. Uh, certainly the sheep are going to come in great handy. Ooh, what are these things now? Azure Bluette. I don't know why I tried a French accent there. I'm not French. 
And I probably did poorly at it. Okay, so there's our three pieces of wool. Fantastic. Uh, we do have seeds. Let's go ahead and grab one more seed. You never know what you're going to find. Um, of course, what do we have? Nine chops. We should be more than enough. This tall grass is cool, too. I don't mind if this wooden sword gets banged up a bit. I'm not going to keep it for too long. And I think I found our... In what the heck? Invisible spider? Jesus. That was a spider. Oh, come on, really? Okay. Limit how much area I have to defend. It's very important if you can funnel your enemy just like I did. I knew that this was blocking me because I tried jumping, so that, that made a nice little diff there. Okay. So first things first, I want to do this in partial sunlight. I need a furnace, and I totally need some torches. Now, to keep this really short, we could just dig straight down. I mean, you can get to Diamond in under five minutes when you're starting off. Really? <sighs> Come on, Zombling. Skelebling? I don't know. Hey, new kicks. Bow. Bow, bow, bow. New shoes. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why everything's a song today. It's like I'm trapped in a Disney movie. Okay, what do we got? Twelve? Bueno? Do 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 that should be good. Okay, that's cooking. While that's cooking, let's do a little cleanup here. Do not want, do not want. Uh that looks about right. Time for an upgrade. And I need a new axe. Um, I need more. Oh, I'm so used to Tinker's Construct and stuff, where if you leave it in the grid, it just stays there. Color me spoiled. There's that. Mm-hmm. 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 Get out, get out. Now, whenever I play uh, Gold Rush with any of my friends, whenever it's, uh, like I said, get a block of gold and that's it, we play what's called Nomad Rules. Um, it's another game mode. I don't, I don't know if I coined it or anything, but I, that's what I call it. It really means you can't build a base. And we're going to be doing that here. We're not, we're not building a huge shelter. We're not cultivating a huge farm. Everything is just as we need it, and then we're just going to move on. That's, that's really all there is to it. Um, so when we're doing this rush for gold or what have you, um, it kind of keeps it quickly paced. It keeps it fast paced. It's really nice. So we're just going to do a little bit of exploring. And this just leads right outside. Okay, great. <laughs> I was afraid of that, but that's okay. Have an opportunity to get some coal here, so we're not burning all of our lumber, and then we'll probably just start digging down. I was really hoping to find some kind of a ravine, but... That doesn't happen. Uh, no, let's stick with that. Cook up some chops. Get a good pull of coal here. You can certainly get a lot done day one, especially if you're not too concerned about a huge house. Um, whenever I started Minecraft, this is years ago already, when, whenever I started it always was like, build a house, it like has to be a house wood walls, cobblestone walls, whatever, wooden supports, even dirt was okay, but I was just always scrambling to get a house going. With this kind of a style, it's really simple the first few nights because we just don't care. Uh, it's very leisurely, very carefree. Good resources. I'd love some armor. That's okay. What uh, what time is it? Um, so rule of thumb, the way I do it is if you look straight up, you can assume that's noon. The sun's right in the sky. And you just tick it down, so that's probably, what, 4 o'clock? something, maybe three o'clock. That's an, more than enough for an estimate. Oh, a shovel would be just dandy. Dandy. I don't often use the word dandy. I'm not too sure why that's in my vocabulary, but it totally is now. Um, starting off, I always like to use planks. Planks are, I think, a little more efficient, certainly than using just raw oak wood. But I think you save a bit on energy rather than turning the wood into coal, the coal, cooking it. And this is just way faster to manage. Especially early on, you don't lose any fuel. See how that burned out perfectly? We didn't waste anything. 
we used exactly as much as we needed. Uh, the danger early on when using a lot of coal is if you're not going to use all eight, you know, burn units or fuel or however it's actually called. Um, oh, here we go. Is this a thing? This is not a thing. A uh, little iron. Totally a thing. Um, if you're not maximizing the amount of energy that's in a piece of fuel, like coal, like I said, um, you're really wasting the other bits of it, and that's pretty dangerous early on. Oh, this is a thing. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Oh, hey, hi. You die now. Oh. thought it was four hits with a sword. I guess not. Anyhow, I thought there was some more stuff around here. Yes, there is. Want to make sure we get all this gear before it's nighttime. It's almost music. Whenever I do this, so oh, what's up? Always close up your quarters with the skeletons if you can. Um. So, anyways, I was trying to say whenever I do mining, I go. Uh, really, I'm trying to teach the people a thing. There, go explode. Um, I usually go in a little bit with torches, so that way I know at least, what, 15 blocks in each direction is safe? It's because I just came from the back. There we go. And now we're proceeding. So I usually dash ahead a little, lay out some torches, be like, okay, that's enough of a gut check. Oop. Ow. Close quarters, exactly like that. Minimize the damage. Let me guess this goes right outside. Of course it freaking does. Okay, in a hallway with a skeleton, we're going to dash back a little bit. Now, we're not going to take that coven like we just did. We're going to build one real quick. There we go. This forces the skeleton to come around the corner and confront us directly. This works out real nice, just like that. Perfect. One arrow of damage. Very clean. Get out of here. Freaking bat. Ow. And you're enchanted or poisoned? I don't I don't know what this is all about. Oops. <laughs> oh, this skeleton killed the bat. Always time for pork chops. Opa! Hey! You were supposed to be dead. Alright. Now the hardcoreiness of it is starting to be a little more obvious. Okay, just like before. Oh, freaking really? Ow. <laughs> that bug is still here, huh? <laughs> so, um, I think Doc M did a video about this. If, if they get too close to you and they just shoot an arrow, it'll just kind of go right through you, so to speak. And it won't deal any damage, just like it did. Oh my gosh. I look like a resident on ER. Okay. We're going to do this thing. And we're going to do this thing. Lava's a good sign. Now, I did throw charcoal in there. Maybe it was just coal, because I knew I was going to burn all eight units of it. So it certainly won't be wasted. Should be enough for some armor right here. What do we got here? 18, 2. That's 20 minus the breastplate is 8, so that's 12 minus the boots, which is 4. That's 8. What is it? 7 for the leggings. That's 1. So we're a little shy, I think, if I did the mental math right. Uh, oh, we don't need boots. We already have boots. Once we get a little more armored, I was really, yeah, I was really hoping that this was going to go down a lot farther, a lot faster, but that's what happens. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, yeah. Now, we could, as we're moving forward, pick up the torches and re-put them down, but that, that sucks. We're not going to do that. I have enjoyed in the latest updates of Minecraft the music. The music has definitely been a nice touch, 
but I'm finding it's too infrequent. It's either too frequent or too infrequent. Um, so like right now, let's see here, can we off and then on? I guess not. That's okay. It just adds a little bit of dead air. Not that I mind. If anyone knows me, I like to talk. Do, 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 do. Two, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, see, the thing is, I'm, I'm, I keep moving. So you have to do something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can almost march to it if you get it down just right. So as I was saying about initial houses, whenever you start Minecraft, I mean, playing Nomad style forces you to keep moving. So the benefit of that is is you never just settle. It's not like, oh, house on the lake, perfect. That's all we're going to do. That's all I want. Forget it. Because you might really be missing out on some other really great features. Legs, and I think we can pass on a helmet. I'm not going to corral too hard. Yeah, let's pass on that. Oh, actually, you know what? I will need an iron pick. And that was stupid. See, that was a waste. I put one piece of coal in here. It's only going to burn out five units, I think, so... That's okay. This is still more than enough goodies to get a get a good base started, though. I'm hearing spiders like nuts. Oh, gay. Okay. I'm also really, really used to feed the beast. I'm used to looking at a radar. So I keep checking the upper left hand corner for my radar. Mini map, if you will. I will. Oop. Enderman. Dark as cluck in here. Chicken. Dark as dark as cluck. Well, that's okay. Forget that. <laughs> The mission isn't to find spiders. The mission is to get diamond. Okay, we got our gear. We can start tunneling down. And I want to show you a bit of a technique. Um, let's explore the rest of this first, though. Oh, I hate baby zombies. Bum, bum. God, they're right on top of me, aren't they? <laughs> oh, that's why we took a little bit of time, got some armor. Okay, that all does not need to be in my hot bar. Oh God! Ugh, freaking bats! <laughs> Stick the crap out of me! Oh! Someone's taking fire damage, and we're near lava. We're gonna move away. So, the technique I'd like to share with you is: let's see, how high are we? Uh, 54, 55, okay. Um, as you know, if you don't, I'll tell you. Uh, diamonds spawn naturally around, I believe it's 5 to 15 in height. Fastest way to get down is to dig straight down. But of course, you're aware of the danger, being a veteran Minecraft player that you are, the digging straight down is pretty darn hazardous. Um, easily pockets of lava and such could sweep you in and kill you and all your stuff. Now, just to demonstrate real quick, if you dig straight down, you probably stand in the center of the block and do exactly this, digging straight down. Which means there's nothing stopping you from falling to a gruesome, fiery death. The trick here that I'm going to teach you is stand in between two blocks and put the cursor as though it has to hit both of them. Now, let me see. Can we do this? Uh, um, yeah, there we go. So we're standing right in the middle of these two blocks here. So we'd have to mine out both of them in order for us to fall. See where I have the mouse? It's right in between the two spots. So as one gets mined out, that gives us enough of a time to figure out whether or not we're going to fall down to our fiery death or not. There. If we see lava, we stop holding the button. If we want to keep digging, we just hold it down. So this adds a really nice backup safety measure just occupying two squares. And I gotta keep placing torches or you guys can't see. So we'll just keep going. Uh, let's see here. 38. Got a little ways to go. Um, oh, if you're not familiar with that, F3 brings up the little schematic menu. And why is the height factor... Oh! 
Oh, I thought we were falling. <laughs> I got a little too chatty there. Uh, why is the height factor? So here, we're still going to keep going. I'm almost hoping we find lava so I can demonstrate this to good effect. But yeah, since we're not going to be coming back up, there's really no need for us to bring anything else. This was enough resources, so what did I say? Half a stack of wood was more than enough. Yeah. We're here, 22. We're getting close to the lava pockets if there are any. And now I can't see anything. Granted, if you do see lava, oh, I keep hitting F3. If you do see lava, everything's just going to be lit up like a freaking Christmas tree, so. Let's see. I usually go all the way to, let's go to 10. There we go. There's 10. No lava, but still really good practice to do it like that. Kind of wish we had lava so that way I could, I could show you properly. Now, there's a lot of great mining methods out there. You choose whatever you want you know, most efficient, fastest, cleanest, what have you. This one's my favorite. Really simple, it's three high, and then I just skip two, and then I cut back down. Very, very simple. I'll demonstrate a little bit more what I mean in just a second once we hollow this out, and I'll go one more layer in. See, music would be great right now. So, uh, let's let's just uh, hollow this out a little bit more so that way you get a better view. Okay, I think that gives you enough of an idea. So, cut down one, skip two, cut down another. And this this would just keep going. By the way, we're not just stopping there. This keeps going. But what this allows you to do is this allows you to see 100% of the ore right here. So. We dug in, we can see the left and the right, so we can clearly see this side, we see this side, now that we've exposed this center bit. Real simple stuff. Now, I've read a lot on uh, Reddit um, specifically, and a lot of the theories out there say that because ores generate in larger than one piece chunks, you can actually skip this and go like three wide, and not just two. That's all fine and good. Um, I just like to be much more safe than sorry, so I do it this way. Oh, there's music. So then there's your corridor. And then you just do this like a grid. You just keep going like this. Every two, cut down the corner. And then whenever you find a vein of resources, hey, look at that. Then you just tear this all out. And then you can replace it so it looks nice or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to need more iron. Huh, unfortunately, I turned it all into armor. <laughs> Hardcore can be like that. Hardcore can be a little odd. It can be really, really tough, or it can kind of be a little more passive. Hey, hey, diamond. Fantastic. And it looks like we got enough for a pick. No, we did not. Okay. Hey, gold. All right. Could really start a nice subterranean base down here. We've got some good resources. We're not going to starve for a while. We've still got five chops. And time to cook up some iron. Now that we've achieved our objective, I just like to mess around a little bit. Uh, let's see that. Let's do this. There we go. I'll spend a little time, clean up a few things, have a little fun, build a mini base, like I said. We've got some dirt. We could easily do a hoe. We have some seeds and we have bones. Easily a small farm. Yeah, we could haul this out. And then if we ever wanted, we, uh, if ever, bleh, I can talk. We have more than enough cobblestone if we ever want to get back to the surface. If we brought enough wood, we could have done ladders. Yeah, easily. We've got, we've got stuff. This is more therapeutic almost than ever accomplishing like a new, a brand new farm design or something or anything new and crazy. Um, because I've played in a vanilla Minecraft, when you build your first mega farm, it's super rewarding. Uh, when you pull the switch, push the button, hit the lever, whatever, whatever mechanism you have to do it, even if you build it on the sun or something, it's so rewarding to get like four stacks or five stacks or a dozen stacks of wheat. Um, it just feels it just feels perfect, but this is really nice too. So let's see what else. Let's cook up some gold. I mean, every house needs some storage, right? Get a little storage. Boop a doop. Yeah. 
Oh, let's, let's take care of our take care of some stuff proper. I'm not a neat freak. I just have attention to detail. There we go. So I'm going to spend some more time mining out, just having a little bit of fun. Maybe start a little mini base here. And then, like I said, usually I just delete the world. Don't worry about it. Start fresh the next time. Either way, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, every single view. Feel free to hit me up with some comments. Want to get a hold of me? I'm on Twitter. Uh, off and on, I'm on Twitch on YouTube, on Google+. That's really about it. Either way, have yourselves a great rest of your week, and I'm going to catch you later.